Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Lecture Note. So today I'll be explaining a novel, The Bride, which is written by Babsi Sidra. In my last videos, I've explained till chapter 6 and in this particular video, I'll be explaining from chapter 7 onwards. So till now, till chapter 6, we all have been um, told by the writer that Nikka has not only gained money, he has not only flourished in terms of uh, money, but also gained respect and has a lot of pride that his name is known by everyone. So now Nika has been offered his first political commission by Chaudhary Sahib to murder the renowned face. For this he has been provided with not only money but also protection. So he has gained so much fame that a political person has now contacted him to not hurt someone but to kill someone to plan a murder and for that Nika will be provided money as well as the gun and everything that is necessary to execute the murder. The initial res uh, response of Nika was, I don't want to become a fugitive all my life, groveling for protection. I'm a married man. I've built my business, my reputation, my prestige. I'm the most respected man in Kila Gujarsan. And then Nika dismissed the man saying that I will think about it. So initial response of Nika was like general middle class person who doesn't want to indulge in uh, anything that will harm his family or his name. He says that I have built my business, I have built my reputation, I have everything in my hands. So I don't want to do anything that will destroy anything. Destroy everything, sorry. So when Nika told Kasim about the deal, he said, why kill the men of course? What is there to think about? Haven't you killed before? Which this line clearly shows that how Nick and Kasim were totally opposite man. Because in the last chapter, you have seen that how Kasim had killed someone because of jealousy, because of vengeance, and not because of money. So now Kasim was cut clear that it is so easy to kill a man for money, and it is nothing uh, to think about. So to which Nika says, why should I kill a man who has done me no harm? Which clearly so shows that Nika, though ha he has physical appearance, a loud physical appearance, but when you see his mind, he is calm, clear, and he doesn't want to do something that will affect his name or his family. To which Kasim says, because you will receive 5,000 rupees. The man Nika had to kill came and departed with a convoy had a set of bodyguards. So, so the man had a... So after having a discussion with Kasim, Nika agreed to kill the man. But the man had a political connection. So he did not travel alone in his car. He had a convoy. He had around 9 to 10 bodyguards. And it was not easy to kill him because he had such an aura. He had created such an aura. And he always traveled with a lot of people. So this kind of a murder required Nika to plan a lot and he could not, um, he did not want any trouble in his life. So it was necessary that the plan should be executed properly. So as a result, Nika needed a plan for which he did surveillance, sometimes came as a gardener, vendor, etc. to observe some common pattern. Not only Nika, but Kasim also applied for leave for a week to observe. So Nika had warned him that he should stay away from his criminal activity. So in this case, Nika was going to get money as well as fame, as well as protection. He was going to build a political connection with Chaudhary Sahib. On the other hand, Kasim was doing, he was just helping his friend also because he has that adrenaline rush to, uh, which excited him to kill someone, to know someone and then to kill someone. So Kasim willingly did this work. On the other hand, Nika did it for money as well as political connection. But Nika warned Kasim that you being a, pa a Pathan, you will all, uh, easily be noted, observed and seen easily. You will be remembered easily by people. So you should not be involved in this. On the other hand, Nika wanted to do this thing alone, whether it was observation or executing his plan. To which Kasim felt like deprived of action and he was tense. So he decided to console himself with a trip to the brothel streets of Hira Mandi. So when he reached Hira Mandi, it was a place where Kasim could happily spend hours just by walking and looking at street. He was doing the same when he, he was doing the same when he saw few black cars stopping. It was the car of the man Nika wanted to kill. Kasim, when 
inside the house to know about the whereabouts of the person but was only told that the rich man is with maharani of hira mandi that is shahnaz and the only attends people with money he tried to tip to and go up stairs but the man guard was vigilant enough and stopped him by saying that he could not enter the room when uh, their master is present come another night because our master will be here by two so you'll see that how uh, character of kasan that how he enjoys the brothel place and he could easily spend hours that how the brothel place was his favorite place and second thing you can notice that how he was active to know he was so much interested to know about the powerful person that he tiptoed and do, did everything to see that person and he also got the information that till two he won't be returning to his house and then when he tiptoed and uh, saw a glimpse he what he saw that the person was having drink to which he said yes the bastard drink alcohol he thought his puritanical feelings on edge what muslims scandalized and humiliated humiliated kasim grew venomous i'll get them tonight damn that nikka why doesn't he do his job i'll get them he won't so so uh, see again his customs overpowering him his nature he say according to him going to a brothel enjoying uh, that scene is okay but drinking alcohol according to his custom is venomous and it is something that is not accepted so he bear the thing in his mind and he says that nikka is not doing his thing properly because he is only observing he is not executing plan and he is so much enraged he he is so much angry that he uh, thinks that i am the one who is going to execute this plan tonight because he is not the right muslim he is he is the one who deserves death so this incident again shows his khostani code of conduct where going to a prostitution house was okay while killing someone for money was acceptable but drinking alcohol was not then he went straight to the victim house and knew nikka will be hiding in garage and told him that the person won't be coming till two nikka forced kasim to leave but kasim insisted to help but at least he had to leave so again nikka forced him out that you will be observed easily you will be noted down easily being a pathan everybody will remember you and he nikka forced him out of uh, the murder and as a result kasim had to leave and go to his place while nikka waited him waited there for the person so next day nikka was at his pan's door and kasim approached him but he could not read nikka's face and neither he give a sign then within few minutes on radio it was declared sardar gulam ali hussain landlord and politician was as a assassinated this morning so this was the person that uh, nikka was given money and protection to murder and uh, kasim had no idea that how nikka had done it but nikka had done it and the in the next day nikka showed his calm composed face to which kasim also could not make out that whether he has killed the person so any strange person any stranger would have never thought that the kasim uh, that kasim had done Oh, sorry nikka has done such thing and in the news it was already highlighted the person has been murdered he has been assassinated so moving on to chapter 8 next day when nikka had been given uh, all the money of uh, assassinating the person so he has now the money and the first thing they both do is they go to hira mandi to treat themselves so now nikka got a huge chunk of money from his political consignment nikka said thumping his bulging pocket make us a, make us as good as anyone you just do as i do so he is showing that money is giving the new confidence and power he is showing that um, how money makes you a rich person not only a rich person but it also gives you confidence to do anything that you want so last night kasim was barred to enter that place but now he has money with nikka so he is going in south inside like a king nikka said that a girl told him earlier we automatically smile in the presence of men we are taught to from childhood i would never allow myself to be moody before a man how men are seen to be next to god so this is nikka telling that every person every girl here is smiling at us and he then remembers that uh, once a girl told him that we can never be moody in front of a 
or man that how man is seen similar to a god that we need to show your best appearance in front of a man so the king uh, the queen of hira mandi in the last chapter we came to know is shehnaz they direct now they have money so they directly go to shehnaz place where shehnaz mother welcomed them graciously and with them also sat two more admirers one of them was american man so clearly uh, shehnaz is not only known in around the place well but she is also attract she is also seen an attraction point for foreigners also they enjoy a singing and dancing session of shehnaz but as soon as nikka tried to touch her the mother stopped and dance stopped the dancing and said shehnaz is a dancing girl not a prostitute we are a respectable house but later when nikka appreciated her by giving some money the night started as they wanted clearly again showing that how money is so much powerful that it can make them do whatever they want and nobody can stop them if they have money she started bursy cute dance and started putting up her jewelry and then clothes but they were unable to move their body to touch her or say anything soon they realized that they had been intoxicated enough or something was there in their last drink that they are unable to respond and now whatever they wanted was happening she was doing the strip tease that they really wanted but they were so much with alcohol they were so much intoxicated that they could not move so whatever they wanted was happening but they could not move so as a result they slept in the same situation and position in the room as they were in no condition to walk and go to their places so nikka came to look forward now uh, nikka has not only gained money respect created the name but now he is also known by the political figures to so that uh, he is also known by the political figures and now he is taking assignments to murder other people also so nikka came to look forward to assignments that required his particular skills he began to enjoy certain liberties he was no longer an ordinary citizen he his promises his opinions carried weight now so one day the man ordered the murder invited nikka as well as kasim to his house as he wanted to thank thank them personally and also said that my house doors are always open for you nikka and kasim saw their the most expensive things of their life whether it was cigar or the most soft furniture they are they were sitting on the man also ordered his driver to take them with comfort to their houses respectively nikka and kasim in the car wanted the whole area to see the height of respect they have reached on to so clearly uh, both the men whether it was kasim and nikka were full of now pride because they have created name the rich people the powerful people now wanted to make a connection with them so now they had uh, seen the fame how their name reflected and how uh, his their promises opinions carried a weight now but the fame doesn't last long and the fall from grace started nikka turned insignificant arrogant to quote a punjabi proverb he would net he would not let a fly a lay on his nose he became a bully he bought a shop next to his, to his uh, shop for more, for much less than the going price sorry he bought a shop next to his own shop for much less price and he forced the milkman to dry, to take a circus note because a jangle of cans suddenly jarred his delicate senses he was feared and even the police could not control him another such incident was when a beggar one eyed beggar was uh, begging in his lane in the lane where uh, nikka shop was there initially nikka warned him that you are not a good omen so you should not be seen in my lane the next day the beggar was seen in the same lane and then nikka uh, kind of beat him to his death almost so clearly now when nikka had power now nikka had power he was insensitive and uh, careless for the poor people earlier he was seen kind who did not want to kill someone because uh he did not share any vengeance or revenge he did not have any feelings for anybody but now just to show his supremacy he almost uh killed a poor people so after seeing this incidents where nikka was hurting killing 
almost insensitive uh, almost sensitive people superintendent uh, superintendent gave order if this is the case let's put him right to be sure he he has his uses but rough him up a little show him his place because nika was showing so much supremacy over the place where he used to live so it was superintendent orders that we should do something to show him his place the very next day which was like any other day for nika he was seen fighting with someone to show his supremacy kasim shouted the police has come leave the fellow but nika was full of arrogance and wanted to show his rule in the place he wanted to share the so that police can't harm me and I'm, i am above an ordinary person who can't be uh, seen by police who police won't arrest but the police arrested him and kept on and nika kept on yelling that you don't know who i am it's some kind of a joke that you are thinking and finally he said don't you know i am a friend of superintendent superintendent to which a policeman responded that um, don't you know that the arrest uh the order for the arrest is also given by the superintendent and after that nika was silent and then nika was uh, sent to prison for four months in which he showed his best behavior and so his parting wish was granted that he wanted to meet superintendent before he leaves when superintendent came nika this behaved and said i feel very lonely in my prison cell at nights won't you accompany me for few nights and all the inmates laughed at him to which superintendent lost his cool and ordered ordered 15 lashes along with nikka's tenure was also increased for two months but this incident brought brought back his lost pride again showing his supremacy that he isn't afraid of police or the powerful figures so that is all for chapter 9 thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe this channel